Iran is set to move toward developing an intercontinental ballistic missile. This missile is the Khorram Shar 4, which will be upgraded into Khorram Shar 5. In this video, I will try to explain the technical stages and timeline. I remind you, official information is limited and mostly comes from various media. Therefore, this video is a blend of reports and reasoned analysis. As you know, Khorram Shar is a type of long-range ballistic missile. Older variants had ranges of roughly 1 to 2,000 kilometers. Reports refer to a version called Khorram Shar 5 with bold claims. Those claims include ranges up to 12,000 kilometers. I must emphasize independent sources have not yet confirmed field tests. Many analysts therefore remain cautious until more evidence appears. Nevertheless, reviewing the technological pathway is feasible and detailed. Now, let us go step by step through the conversion pathway. The first design phase includes revising the engine and airframe structure. For intercontinental range, a lighter and more powerful engine is required. Stage design and fuel segmentation are fundamental technical challenges. At the same time, composite materials and thermal protection for the warhead are examined. A detailed design phase usually lasts 6 to 24 months. This interval depends on access to parts and available human resources. The design phase also includes assessing political risks and sanctions. If foreign suppliers do not cooperate, timelines increase dramatically. The second phase is building prototypes and testing heavy engines. The prototype must be tested under varied launch and flight conditions. Temperature control, dispersion, and mid-phase guidance are critically important. Ground engine tests and static firings actually take months and are noteworthy. After prototyping comes a limited series of flight tests. Launches are short and aimed at evaluating stability and range. Each launch provides essential data to refine the guidance software. Typically, dozens of launches are needed in the initial phase and hundreds overall. One of the biggest challenges is developing mid-phase guidance systems. For intercontinental range, the warhead requires robust thermal protection. Satellite navigation and inertial systems must be harmonized together. Testing warhead re-entry during atmospheric passage is absolutely essential. After successful tests, serious mass production follows. Mass production requires extensive industrial lines, parts, and logistics. The supply chain may be strained by sanctions and export restrictions. There is also a need for skilled personnel and quality control lines. From prototyping to mass production, the timeline is roughly 5 to 10 years. This period depends heavily on supply and political pressures. An optimistic scenario assumes 3 to 5 years with external support. A realistic scenario is 5 to 10 years without foreign assistance. Domestic political support can significantly accelerate the program, but international risk and potential military reactions must be considered. Sanctions raise costs and limit access to critical technologies. Therefore, the budget and schedule must be flexible and kept confidential. Signs of progress usually include test sites and satellite imagery. In the absence of independent evidence, speculation will continue for a long time. Foreign analysts search for technical patterns and trace supply chains. Regional states and great powers will show diplomatic reactions. Technical assistance from foreign cooperation can speed the process, but under sanctions, collaborations are often covert and fragmented. Building domestic infrastructure to reduce dependency is lengthy and costly. Key questions concern the weight and type of warhead that can be carried. Some reports claim Khorram Shar 5 can carry up to 2 tons. The heavier the warhead, the more the missile's range and performance decline. Research into lightweight solutions and new materials continues persistently. A remaining question is whether the missile can be equipped with multiple warheads. MIRV technologies are highly complex and require extremely precise guidance. If Iran achieved MIRV capability, its targeted destructive capacity would increase. However, implementation would demand more time and far more testing, clearly. One production criterion is a consistently high launch success rate. The failure percentage must fall to a very low acceptable level. This requires repeated testing, repairs, and detailed data analysis. 
Experience from other countries shows reaching industrial scale is time-consuming. For credible deterrence, the missile should be launchable from mobile platforms. Ground, rail, or underground platforms each have advantages and drawbacks. Command and control requires a secure and resilient communications network. Manufacturing fuel tanks and sensitive components represents a large share of cost. Resistance to cyber and electronic attack is a top operational priority. If mass-produced, deployment and concealment carry major strategic implications. Estimating total costs is difficult and covers many interrelated categories. Final cost depends on production scale and research and development needs. Sanctions increase the price and lead time for sensitive components. Another aspect involves propaganda and the political signaling dimension. Declaring major achievements without independent proof can serve domestic deterrence. But for the international community, reliable evidence is decisive and determinative. To monitor the program, watch several key indicators closely. First, increased activity at missile bases and visible underground construction. Second, satellite imagery showing new launch pads and production lines. Third, technical reports about engine tests and prototyping in reputable media. Fourth, signs of technological cooperation with foreign actors or transfers. Optimistic summary, design and prototyping in three to five years. Realistic scenario, five to 10 years for testing and initial production. Pessimistic scenario, 10 years or more because of sanctions and supply obstacles. These estimates are approximate and highly sensitive to event pacing. If independent observers publish confirming evidence, the timelines will change. Possessing an intercontinental capability would profoundly alter regional equations. Strategic deterrence, force balance, and diplomacy would all be affected. This development could increase international pressure and containment measures. Regional neighbors would likely reassess defense policies and alliances. For the audience, it is important to know processes are long and very costly. Treat large claims without substantiated evidence with healthy skepticism. At the same time, following satellite imagery and independent analysis is useful. If strong, verifiable evidence appears, the world will respond proportionally. Conclusion. For now, the claims are examinable but not yet confirmed. If Iran has begun this program, it will be time-consuming but technically feasible. The program's timeline will depend on supply chains, testing, and politics. Independent verification remains essential before accepting large public claims. That is the current assessment. Claims are examinable but not yet confirmed.